Pickaxe. Hello and welcome to Zero Degrees, the podcast with no qualifications where we solve your complications. I'm Harry and I'm joined by Ravs, Lydia and Lewis, a degree <gasps> haver. A rare oh God, degree he has haver. a degree, does man. <laughs> He's smarter than all of us. <laughs> you are, I mean, you did just beat us in University Challenge, so you are certainly smarter than all of us. That degree yeah, certainly me. paid off. Yeah, hey, I was Dan. able to answer the questions from the children's encyclopedia of science. <laughs> hey, hey, you crazy hey, slash me and Ravs, all right? You know, you can't, you, you're responsible for our lack of education. <laughs> <laughs> what degree do you have, Lewis? What is your speciality? Chemistry. Chemistry I have a, degree. I have a master's in chemistry. Oh, my but God. Wow. wow. I was thinking the other day how... I know nothing anymore. It's been so, it's been sufficiently long that I can't remember any of it. And I, I think it's the case with most people's degrees, right? Like, if you don't use it, it goes away. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah. Keep it up, right? Mm. Most most of the stuff people learn at school and they never use. Most of the stuff yeah. that people will learn at uni, unless they go into that field, they never use. It kind of makes me worried in a sense because basically anyone who's forty plus has kind of forgotten their education. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. All a waste of money what, and time, it, really. Do, do but it means I don't get, have like, any trust of people. Like, I went to a dentist recently, and it was like someone who was like half my age, and they were like <laughs> so knowledgeable because they'd obviously just finished yeah. dental yeah. school, and they went and they they were like it was great. It was like I feel like I have a whole new um, healthy mouth. <laughs> nice. Mm. That's great. That's great stuff. A whole new healthy mouth. So, I, I, so I'm converted. I'm like. Let's get the like. Why are the con- why is the country ruled by seventy year old men? Mm. Right, true. Let's get these young bucks in here because normally they're not. That we're firing those guys. If we had a seventy year old guy who worked the Yogg's cast, I'd be like, "Fuck, this guy doesn't know shit." But they're allowed. Do you know what he needs to be? The prime minister. Let's get him out of here and run the country instead. No, we wouldn't say that. No, no. Some geriatric old man with crazy ideas. No, get what? get some youth in there. What do we do with the oldies, though? Like, is it what they reach a certain age, and we just take them out back and put I them think, down? Like, yeah, we like a grinder. Yeah, the yeah grinder. Grinder. there's probably quite a few of them on grinder already. To be yeah. fair, yeah. <laughs> I believe they're called polar bears. <laughs> is that the actual that the term? term? That's the actual term for an old. Oh, because man. they're like yeah. white bears. Amazing. I like yeah, that. Yeah. Amazing. Polar bears. Wow, I've never cute. heard of that. That's great. Um, so, Lewis, on Zero Degrees, people write into us with silly complications, silly questions. Usually, it's a lot of sexual stuff. I don't think we've got anything sexual today. I think we've got Are a lot of Christmas horny, related ones. Are they very horny, the Zero Degrees oh, listeners? God, oh, God, yeah. Very <laughs> horny. They're very horny. <laughs> They're <laughs> very aroused. How did it go in No Nut November? Did that just make it worse? Oh, you Honestly, know what? I've not really looked at our November. No, we kind of skipped over yeah. our November sub- submissions and went yeah. straight for Christmas, which is nice. Mm. We are recording this in the midst of Jingle Jam. That's why Rouse is wearing a suit. I feel like we need to address yeah. this for the visual oh, yeah, we're watchers. About, we're about to do poker. And <laughs> yeah. instead of dressing up as like cum stained Garfield, I decided, you, <laughs> you know, say like, wearing. That shirt could do with an extra button, Rouse. Well, no, I, I, no. I am. Get it I'm keeping it out. Me, I'm keeping it out. I do feel like Rouse looks like a drug dealer. He looks a lot like a man who would sell you some drugs. <laughs> I've got the finest ketamine you Talk could about ever get. You're a grizzly bear, dude. Mm-hmm. You're a grizzly bear. Mm. Look yep. at that. People um, have said that about me. I love mauling people and eating sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> shall we have? Shall we get into our first question then? Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got some Christmassy ones. We've got some silly ones. Um, Lydia, do you want to just take a pick and lead us in with something? Something you like, something you fancy. All right, I'll start with a, a Christmassy one. It says, Happy holidays, you Christmassy guys and gals. Uh, I'm in the spirit of the season, and I want to know what was the worst Christmas gift you ever received? Mm. And what was the gift you always wanted but never got? I once got three pairs of underpants from my aunt with a card that said, These didn't fit your cousins, so I'm giving them to you. Straight in the fucking bin. Oh, that's grim! Like what they used them and really then really grim. Just gave oh. them a big wedgie, so they said you give them to our cousin. F- disgusting! I hope they weren't used. Like stains, <laughs> that would be worse. like like oh. like skid stains. Just oh, I make myself sad. What is <laughs> the worst pre- worst present and something you always wish you'd gotten? Man. I've told this story so many times that I don't even know if we've done it on this podcast. We've probably Go already it. done it on this podcast, and probably in the last like two episodes. But for me, it was a pair of driving gloves, a pair of leather driving gloves. I didn't know. Uh, no, I didn't know. I don't know that. Yeah. What? Yeah, I got given a pair of leather driving gloves by like my grand's friend. That like. God, I thought you were going to say me. Still, 
Still friends <laughs> with... By Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> still friends with like, the family. And she like... I was about 14 and she got me a pair of weather driving gloves. And she got my like my brother an umbrella. And I was just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? It's just such a weird it's gift bizarre. for like a 14-year-old boy. That's certainly like a re-gifting thing, right? That's yeah, like... but it was such a weird gift to give to me. It was that, that, that's certainly my weirdest. One I always wanted was, and I understand now why my parents didn't buy me it, was Uno. You know, but the Uno that had like the <laughs> card shooter. That's you know, amazing. The one that you know the one that spun around and shit cards all over the room? Yeah, yeah. No. I always really? wanted that. What? Browns, yeah. I can get you that. We can make this dream I fucking come want true. That. I've always it wanted it. It's, yeah. it's quite a reasonable <laughs> ask. Yeah. <laughs> it's not very expensive. But I think it's we just can the one sort I that always out. asked for and never got, you know? Oh. It's just the one I never got. The thing that I always wanted as a kid, did you guys ever go to those play parks where you could have like ride on little diggers? I always was like, oh, yeah. Dad, can oh. we build one of those in the garden? He was like, no, no, no. We're not like converting half of our garden to your like digger emporium. <laughs> like, as a kid, I just loved construction and diggers. I was like, this is the coolest shit in the world. So every Christmas it was, I want to digger this, digger that. And that was the one digger thing I never got. <laughs> Oh, well, you can make those dreams come true now, Harry. We'll get you a balcony. Your balcony. balcony. Your balcony. Make a sand pit with a... a We'll use all of the Patreon money to get you a JCB. (laughs) That's all I want. I just want to drive a JCB around for a bit and Mm -hmm. dig some stuff up. It's just fun. It's cool. Being able to dig is cool. It's very, you know, macho and strong. I like it. Mm. What about you, your worst gift? My worst gift. I, I just got. I feel like I have. I have some of those relatives that just every I year. I just fucking gave you one. To be fair, <laughs> I mean, Rams just gave me a fucking <laughs> cock and bull warmer that was oh. hand knitted to, to look like make your balls look like poker balls and your dick look like <laughs> Pikachu. So I mean, that probably is actually the worst, but also most a mind blowing gift <laughs> I've ever seen. Uh, that's probably up there. Yeah, I think you can pull that off. Like at a certain age, I think this when you're a kid, it's disappointing right when you're mm. an adult mm. you've you're like if i really wanted this i would have bought it and so yeah. like i think it becomes harder and harder to not only buy presents for other people but but to to gain to have memorable presents given to you right yeah um, i'm not a fan of the like the gifted experience or like oh have a day out at this fucking place you know that's like a chore you've like now like given me a job it's like don't buy people <laughs> pets you know what i mean it's like yeah oh, fuck, okay now You've given me an op- fucking this is, not and a, chain. this is the opposite of a gift. It's yeah, and so no, I think when I was a kid, I remember two times when I asked for VHSs of things. Um, Wait, what kind of VHS? <laughs> well, I asked for <laughs> Thundercats. Um, oh yeah, shit. Thundercats VHS, right? Yeah, yeah. And I got Thunderbirds. Oh, oh. which oh. Thunderbirds still pretty cool. To be, you know, one of my great aunts was very confused about the order and was like he must be in thunderbirds right um but it turned out well because thunderbirds is awesome yeah and i think i enjoyed that just as much conveniently and it probably it probably was better than thundercats quite honestly the other time i asked for the star wars special edition because they'd remastered star wars in like 1997 mm-hmm. or something mm. fuck me um Maybe even longer ago than just, that. Just like, aged yourself massively. That I can't remember. <laughs> I, probably even like earlier than that. It was. I can't have been more than like. What, what did you later. get instead? Do you remember? I I got some something else that was not that, and yeah. I remember being very upset about it. And my parents being like, "Oh shit, don't worry, it's the wrong one. We'll get you the right one." And yeah. um, and I I did I did get it. Happy happy ending. A week later. And then I got you the got happy ending. You got a happy Christmas. ending. Gee, that is you a bad present from your family. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jesus, thank you, Dad. Your dad's just like, I'll make it up to you, son. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. I didn't know Christ. if there were a lot of happy endings on this podcast. <laughs> you know, I feel like a lot of people's questions are, you know, if they're asking the question, it's negative, right? And, yeah. and there, it usually means there's not an obvious good outcome. But in this case, VHS is quite cheap. Um, even back yes, in the day. That's like not a big fuck up. Do you know what I mean? Getting the wrong color bicycle or something. Like that. Something that is like, oh fuck. You know, he wanted a yellow bike instead of a red bike. And it's like, what was so it? Pedgwin d- did that recently. Um, getting a, a push chair and oh, or something, some, some piece of equipment and um, got the wrong one. And oh fuck. If no, no. That was, I said to him, if that was me, is it, is it really that big of a deal? And he was like, it was a really big deal because yeah. she wanted, a specific pattern 
on it. So we had to send the whole fucking thing back. And I was like, God, those are fucking expensive as well. Mm. Christian, not only that, but having to send it back is so heavy. Like it's a nightmare. The idea of sending something back to me, other than if, if, if it's not already in the same box, you got it in just yeah, dragging just... that back to the post office is a nightmare to me. So wait, what was the, um, uh, what was the, what was the worst gift Lewis? You had mistake gifts. If you didn't, you know, you didn't get ones you wanted. But what, what was something that you have you ever received something where like this is just like main boy? This is just trash. Awful. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I've, I've lived a very blessed life, Harry. Mm. I've, I've never. I think my parents were very careful to check with me mm. what we were. Gi- there was a lot of organisation in the Brindley family. There yeah. wasn't a lot of like surprises. No surprises, yeah, yeah. You know, and it was very much. You, you know what you were you almost like which knew I prefer what you were getting. I, I, you know I, I mean? like that you know I like knowing what you're going to get and I don't that whole like surprise thing I don't think like do people actually like surprises surprises give me anxiety and then you, there's that afterwards anxiety of like oh well, have I made someone feel like they've done me well enough with the surprise you know, and they feel like I thanked them enough or what I don't know that big surprise stuff I don't feel don't think it's I, great I like them I feel like what what present giving is turned to into as you get older is literally saying I would like this and the other person saying I want this and then you just buy it for them and it's something you could have bought yourself but but there's no like magic in it there's no it's literally just I'm going to go to the shop and get you this thing that you oh, asked for rather I've, than I've, oh my god you got me this this is so cool thank you like, there is that I have done that but the, what you have to do with that is you have to pay attention to that person yeah for you can't just do it with anyone mm-hmm. right? yeah, yeah. and so like you have to like in October yeah. you have to you have to like you know, notice them when they're like, "Oh, I'd like to get one of these, but maybe it's a bit too expensive." And you write that down, mm. yeah. And then a month later, you you check if they have bought it themselves or anything, uh, or you, you like or you ask talk for about a friend it or something, might, yeah. But you don't want to bring it up too much because you don't want to encourage them to actually buy it themselves. Yes, you have to lay all this Fine groundwork, line. and then finally you get them at something, and it's actually and they're like, "Oh, this is that thing that I wanted, and you noticed, and you cared, and oh my god, I love you so much!" Like that is. Mm. That's excellent. G- giving so, a good gift does feel amazing. That is yeah. true. Giving um, a good gift and, you know... And does... I, yeah, especially if you have you feel like you've laid... The, it's like a detective story. It's like, yeah. I, like oh, you gave hints about this and I, I and it all f- slotted into place. Uh, but I, don't, Man, I feel like I that's still quite really an uncommon thing. I don't, I don't feel like oh. all of the gifts you give are that. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that's like a one in a hundred every gift is like that's that the perfectly own, well, planned. I used to give everyone in the office a Christmas yeah. present every year. I remember it was very generous. And the reason I stopped was because I overheard I some people complaining <laughs> about the presents they'd received. No. Really? Yeah. And um, I think it was because it's, uh, I think it was because it wasn't really, the presents I gave were not very thoughtful. That didn't go that far. I didn't know everyone necessarily very well. Mm. And so... I don't know, I would get Nina some fancy Japanese pens or whatever. Of course, she's an artist, so she likes pens, right? And it was like, I don't know, like th- that, that was as far as I went. I'd get Rich some like cycling gloves because he likes cycling or whatever. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like it wasn't, I didn't really put the, but put the work again, in. That's hard, buying presents for like 20 people. Yeah. But, there is but a, what I found was... You that, can't go full detective on I all was of making, it, right? But I was, I was almost, I found that it was almost worse to give someone an impersonal present than it was mm. to give them nothing mm. right it was better because they weren't expecting anything they didn't get anything from me and so them receiving mm. something that was bad almost meant like oh I feel bad for not getting Lewis a present but also he's got me something which isn't really very nice or I don't yeah. it just shows he's lazy and so I don't know like it's almost like I've, I've learned this a lot in my life sometimes doing nothing is the best course of action even if it sounds bad mm. right yeah which is a stupid thing to say um, but no, no one feels right. bad if you don't do anything. Whereas some people could feel bad. Like some people might not get a present. They're like, "Well, Lewis got these guys presents, but not me. Like, why did I miss out?" Mm, like, I don't know. There was this whole. Well, my present was better. And, oh, he got a really cool present. I would have liked yeah, his the, one. The drama, the drama of presents. I where feel do you... like that's yeah. so ungrateful. Like, though. Where, where, we haven't had Lydia's. Oh, I need Lydia's. I need to oh, know Lydia. Oh, yeah, what, yeah, true. Well, What's the I've, worst gift? I have a similar thing as Ravs. Is I feel like I have told this story a lot, but I don't think I've told it on this particular podcast. Um, but the one that always like sticks in my head is I was around like twelve or thirteen, and um, my mum's like friends that she'd been friends with for years and years and years. Um, I opened the present in front of like my brother and my mum and maybe my dad. I can't remember, and it was like very sexy lingerie. 
Um, oh, no. And I took it out of the thing and it was like, and I was such a, sh- like, I was like a bit of a tomboy. I was very shy. I didn't wear makeup. Wait, how old were you again? I was like 13 or something. What and I was like, I w- it's not like I was like, I don't, I don't know. Like I was, was the opposite. From? It was my mum's like long-term friends, like this couple. I like, I'd known them my whole childhood kind of Is thing. Is this the I one am- you wanted? <laughs> I'm <am> so <laughs> sure that we've talked about this on this podcast. Like, uh, this is- I don't think you have. I don't, no, I don't know this story. Me and you have talked about this, Ravs, on okay. a stream but not okay. on this podcast. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. That is, I'm dying of cringe. But it that was is... mortifying. Like, I was so, like, t- tomboy, shy, introverted little dumbass and opening up the sexy... And my brother was like, what's that? And I was like, nothing, nothing, it's nothing. <laughs> like, threw it away, never opened it again. Like, what a what bizarre did they say? What, present. What, what a fucking what? insane present to give a 13-year-old girl. I know. Yeah, an absolutely insane present. That is, I- like... You should be on a list if you do I, that. That is like straight I mean, up fucking you like crazy. Who does that? That is jail time. What did, what did they say? Is there any like? Was there a funny note? Was it like a gag? No. Well, like if, they... I, if I was your your mum, I'd have been like. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm never speaking to you guys my again. My mum's straight up like throwing hands if that happens. Like she is yeah. not, she's I, not okay with that. That's fucking mental. I was, and like it obviously had an impact because I remember, like I can still think about how like embarrassed I was at like to this day. It's like uh, just the b- most bizarre present. But to I don't buy feel like someone. you should be embarrassed. I feel like the gift giver should they be fucking embarrassed. They should be embarrassed. Like what a oh weird fucking thing to do. And in, in terms of like presents that I wanted but never got. I feel like there was back in the 90s or whatever, um, there was always some present that, a uh, present, a toy that everyone mm. wanted. And like you said, Lewis, like back then you couldn't buy your own things. You had two chances a year to get what you wanted, your birthdays and your Christmases. Um, and I remember like desperately wanting a frost, was it a frosty man? Frosty machine? Frosty maker? The snowman? Oh, Mr. Frosty? Oh, Mr. Frosty. Mr. Holy Frosty. Frosty. I wanted Boys. a Mr. Frosty so they, bad. They made the slush and the they, tummy, right? Yeah, they made <laughs> yeah, yeah. slush and, and I wanted one of them. Even I wanted... now, that's only 25 quid. Really? <laughs> but you know what? Back then, it was probably like 50, 60 quid. Yeah. yeah like, how would sure. we be able to know how much it cost back then? Because I remember, like, it was expensive. Those toys it's, were always so expensive. This is a so fucked expensive. up thing. Why are you taking it out of the snowman's stomach? <laughs> I'm <laughs> eating his belly like, goo. It's mortifying as <laughs> a kid. <laughs> what <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> it cost £10.75 back in the day. No, seriously. Yeah. Oh. In my head, I, maybe because when you're a kid, £10 is like a lot of money so you know yeah, that's I like, probably allowed I f- one toy I could toy. buy a house with this money yeah exactly like holy shit uh, <laughs> yeah. 10 pound and I think I was probably, probably allowed to have one toy probably could have bought a house toy. back then 10 yeah, pounds well, yeah well yeah back in the 90s um, but yeah any of that shit I wanted a bell costume from uh, the Disney store I wanted uh, a Polly Pocket Polly po- loved Polly Pocket loved my little pony brony for life baby um, <laughs> like all of that shit I, I ate it up like a I think yeah muscle. looking at these lists this is I mean I was of the age so I've got a list here of the, the toys from 1991. Oh, give, give, us, give us a couple. Oh, 1991, yeah. It's the, the it's Super Soaker 50. Which Super is nice. Nice. I always okay, wanted nice. Super Soakers, but I didn't get good ones. My it's, friends. it's a weird, it's a weird um, one Duncan Christmas has, present, insane. right? Yeah, yeah. It, by the time Christmas comes around, you don't want to be playing You're Super Soakers. freezing it. cold outside. Yeah. <laughs> Dun- like, Duncan is the perfect example of someone who's living his childhood fantasy. Like, <laughs> I went to Duncan's house. He has like a million BB guns, he has like a the super <laughs> soaker like, babies. <laughs> you put it in the the sink and it's like electrically powered and it shoots like a assalt rifle what? of water. It's Wait, insane. What? So it auto sucks up the yeah, water from the sink. Yeah, you put it and it sucks it all up from the sink and then you can just go out and shoot it. Like you can shoot water bullets. I don't know how it works. That's, but oh that's so God. OP. That takes the fun out of like a water fight. Oh, I just turned up with my like water laser. Like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Um, I'm sorry you didn't have got your Mr. Frosty, uh, Lydia. One That's, day. One I feel day. like it's a very achievable one. I feel like <laughs> Please, no one send me a Mr. Frosty to the office. I do not want like, to eat his okay. belly goo now. We I'm can, over it. <laughs> we can sit on the excavator of Harry's JCB playing Uno sipping Frosty. That's, That's this shit is how you get a fetish, though. Do you know what I mean? Mm, you Mr. Mm. Frosty's belly goo. That's how you get <laughs> oh, fucked up for the rest of your so? life. Oh, do you think so? Do you think Mr. Frosty like, spawns some sort of fetish for people? <laughs> well, I think this is why we got so many furries now. It's because of Pokemon and stuff. It probably is. Sexy, like maybe like Sylvanians. Do you remember the Sylvanians? Those sexy little animal, cute animal toys. Uh, that's, that's that's sexy, <laughs> Harry. Did you just say sexy? <laughs> Who was that no, sexy just, cartoon from? Just Goofy? stupid, sexy little mice. Sexy Lydia, cartoon you know? from what? <laughs> from from Goofy. Uh, uh, the sexy the chick, the chick <laughs> from Goofy. Oh, Je- Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> no, no, no I mean, she's hot. Poop, she is hot. 
that's who framed Roger Rabbit. Who's the one from Goofy? Who's the sexy one from Goofy? Wait. I'm just typing sexy Goofy into the internet. <laughs> sexy Goofy. <laughs> I'm looking up Mr. Frosty oh Fetish. Oh my god, Goofy's got a fucking big cock. Yo. <laughs> Wait, who's who's Goofy's girlfriend? Oh, what's Roxanne. her name? Roxanne. Roxanne from Goof Troop. She's cute. She's an anthropomorphic female oh, yeah. dog. She was. <laughs> That's this, a furry. She is That's responsible a furry. for furry. She's a furry. Okay. Yeah, I, I think she's see like the Space Jam of... one. Jillian. Uh, oh, she is rabbit. pretty though, isn't she? I I can't believe it. We, I'm just saying I'm, I'm surprised I'm not a furry. Uh, Lewis, we talk about furries every fucking episode. Sorry, There's not a it. single furry question, but I we still managed to end up. Well, this do, is one of them, obviously. Have you, you, did you hear about theories. the cum pizza? Have you heard about the cum pizza? We had that as a question. That was a good oh, yeah. one. Mm. I haven't, no. Do I need so to? I don't you know. Don't I don't know. To, I no. trust I don't know if we need to go Henry, there. Don't. So, all right. TLDR, a bunch of furries came on a pizza and left it in the hotel lobby. And then one of them ate some. Well, yeah. this is the old soggy biscuit story, which always goes around. It's, it's no, 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 but this one actually no, happened. This is, this is photographed. There's pictures There's of pictures it. Happened. There's photographs. It's it an up. urban myth. It's an urban myth. <laughs> 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 All right, let's move right, on. Let's move Next on before question. we talk about that more. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's move on. Ravs, you're going to grab yeah. one. All right. It's Christmas! Hello, Zero Degrees Elves. I've just started dating a new partner and don't know what mm. to buy her for Christmas. Any suggestions for a woman in her mid-twenties who <laughs> likes being outside, meeting with friends, the theatre, the occasional drink, and gaming night? No baldos, water pistols filled with pee, mouse cum infused drinks, or any pets that watch us fuck. Thank you, weirdos. <laughs> I like that we're just fucking doing this person's Christmas shopping for them. Why the fuck I mean, is this a question? This is this seems like an easy dub to me. You just gotta get them a theater like theater tickets and get like, them a Mr. Frosty done. I mean, easy. as a woman in her mid twenties, no, Lydia, no, 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 you don't know no, 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 to no, no, work no. this out. You know. Um. All right, how about all three of us get a present that we think Lydia might like, and we post it in chat, and we see whether Lydia. Oh. Like. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Ralph, I'll just Ralph quickly have a little shot some... for you. Okay, now you're a classy quick. lady. I am classy. You saw my dress and almost fell you over. You like sitting outside at the pub. I love to sit outside at the pub. Um, you like? I like the theatre. I've seen to like see you like Miz like four or five times. You like? Um... I love games nights. I am this woman just in you know ten years time. <laughs> yes. Right, I probably I probably got you guys beat. Here you go. All right. Here's okay, my. Well, what, what what you got? All right. Lydia, you go through them in your own time. Are they in okay. this group chat? Yeah, they're in, in the, the chat, chat here. Group yeah. chat. Okay. Well, why is that Ladies link, so, Harry? That thing's so long. Sorry. This is actually how long it takes men to do the average amount of Christmas shopping as well. Great. Okay, so Ravs, so Ravs one of you we open up. Oh, that is a good present. You can't just play to, You can't pander to that's, the crowd. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Why? You, you can't do that. That's per So Ravs has posted a placebo tour poster, which I assume means that he'd buy me tickets, tickets to see placebo. Yeah. Which tickets to see placebo. actually is perfect. I don't know if anyone's going to be able to beat that. Where are be Ravs? Because they're not playing locally. Yeah, uh, what you buy flight tickets? This is an awful uh, gift. This no, is again. No, these, you these have to are, go for the whole day and book the hotel and stay over and the whole Sorry, thing. I'm going to well, Birmingham. You're going to Birmingham tonight. Yeah. Why not Glasgow? Oh, it's tonight. Tonight. It's a surprise, surprise gift. Surprise, Lydia. Hi, Lydia. You're gonna leave fucking now. <laughs> that was so funny. If all the tour dates have been done. What <laughs> 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 you tickets with Rosivo? They've already performed. I mean, Rad, they actually have cancelled the rest of their tour because uh, Brian Mocha's ill so that oh. kind of is actually a little bit of a shit yeah, present because there's, there's, there's no gigs tonight that's there's the no easy, gigs that's the easy dub word that's the that's easy well, that's dub well that's not Ravs' fault what's Lewis linked alright Lewis what's... has linked I'm sorry but an incredibly ugly <laughs> scarf <laughs> 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 a 55 pound cashmere really ugly scarf it looks like it's like a primary school kid's scarf I'm sorry Lewis that's really ugly <laughs> And it's thirty percent off your cheapskate. Huh? I want. I'm, oh my god, that is originally an eighty pound scarf. I mean, it's cashmere. It's Marks and Spencer's original, Lydia. It's lovely. I mean, I would appreciate that, and I would wear it sometimes. 
I um, like that they couldn't even get a fucking model to wear it. All the other scarves have models for this one. <laughs> Harry, you, you picked good, but you should have picked another musical. Oh, you sorry. Should. How yeah. expensive are those tickets, by the way, that you would have bought, Ravs? I don't fucking know. It's thirty quid or something. About, like about, that. about forty each, I'd say. Forty. I mean, it's when you're buying me another one, so I have yeah. something to go with. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I've got you all beat. I think I got you all, all right. beat with this he one. Pe- he picked the wrong well. musical. He just picked the wrong oh, musical for oh, idea. Oh, Harry! Look at that. I literally got so excited because I was like, "Oh, you bought me Hamilton tickets? I want to see no, Hamilton it's so better. bad." <laughs> Every <laughs> day of your life, you get to be the star it's of Hamilton. It's a Hamilton Lydia. poster it's on a shower curtain. Shower curtain. I um. You get to sing in the shower i guess i can sing it. i've never seen it but it will feel so good to see that like every the, time i lo- go to the delu i, I like just that. the word spaghetti that's on it as well the kind Bad of illegible man. the illegible word spaghetti <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. just been put everywhere i like how underneath the star it says the election of 1800 <laughs> <laughs> my shot helpless <laughs> the world was wide enough what yeah, the world was wide enough? i don't what, have you guys, guys not, never seen hamilton have you guys not seen ha- hamilton <laughs> no, no. Oh my no. god! I really I've want seen to. It. I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good. Sorry, Sorry. It's I, I thought it was great. Nice. Yeah. But I, I don't know anything about American history. I think it's better if you know about American history. Okay. Mm-hmm. But and all Americans have kind of been forced to learn all this shit about the fucking founding fathers and all that crap. Yeah. So they kind of we, we don't know shit about. They have a baseline just... knowledge of that. Like, my, my, my understanding of American history can be described by this Hamilton shower curtain. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably the same amount of knowledge. Um, so what are you picking, Liz? What are you going um, for? What okay. have you got? So you got um, placebo tickets that, for tours that have already happened. Yep. You've got a, a brilliant scarf, yep. lovely knitted scarf, yep. and a horrible, ugly Hamilton shower curtain. Okay, so this is it, the sto- the question. It's a new partner, right? This is my new partner has bought yep. me this. It's your first 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 gift. Christmas. Um, all right, one cashmere scarf. I'm going to be honest, uh, Lewis. It's a little bit soulless. Um, there's not wow. much, not much thought wow. behind it. Just a scarf. Fucking like, wow. There's no like personality there's no like knowing me also it's an ugly scarf I think so. Lewis is crying for podcast <laughs> listeners I think Lewis has actually just shed a tear yeah I'm he's distraught he's I, distraught I, I appreciate that it's like a well made scarf but I, I wouldn't be that over the moon with it um sorry Harry <laughs> your, your present fucking sucks not only have <gasps> I not seen Hamilton but I don't I can't even put a shower ca- <gasps> uh, cow- curtain up in my bathroom I've got one Fuck. of those like glass door things so <laughs> fuck's sake I guess I'll just wear it as like a poncho when it rains or something um I th- well Ravs is quite clearly the winner even though there's no kicks to go to. <laughs> Easy it dub. still wins. Easy it dub. still wins. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, I hope that helps our question. Well, Hopefully well, one of those yeah, three is a good get, gift for get your them partner. Theater tickets. Find out a fe- I think, a, yeah. what, a theater they like and go, go Hamilton, take them to it. Take them out for a drink. Take, take them out. somewhere yeah. nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just get my shower curtain. It's nice. Or shower. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, next question. Let's let's move off of something Christmassy and let's do a uh, let's do a silly one. get a phone call saying one of your fellow hosts has been arrested what do you think they were arrested for <laughs> okay should we I feel like also we should go around and do one of wait, us do one of okay. us at a time should we also say who do you think it is as well well I think we should oh. do for each of us yeah but I want to know who yeah yeah we'll do one each and we'll give our opinion okay. but who do you, wait, who we think it who also you is who you getting, getting wait, arrested one of uh, the, for some reason the police says one of your co-hosts of zero degrees has been arrested <laughs> And we have to guess which one. Oh, fuck. Okay, I right, go for it, Ralph. So you guess. Fuck. I've set myself up here. <laughs> Are you setting yourself right. up? You're so right. keen on it. I, I think I'm picking Lydia here. I think it's going to be Lydia. Thank I'm going to assume it's Lydia for like drunken assault and battery. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> oh my god! It's not even funny. It's just. Oh it's god. just true. <laughs> Jesus. I think you know. Well, he's uh, arrested. She's not convicted. She doesn't yeah, mean she's yeah, done yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Just she's just arrested. been arrested for it. She's under suspicion had, of. Had one too many uh, apple juices oh, at yeah, the pub, okay. and yeah, yeah. some girl was acting like a oh, dick. Oh my it was god! A bit of a festy cuff situation. I a, yeah, I am a bit yeah. of a feisty drunk. You know, like I yeah. can have a little bit of a, a sass to me once I've had a 
for you. So. And with your gammy leg, it's with just not, it's not going to go great. It's, it's all dirty gonna, fighting. Yeah. Oh. Uh, See, you hit her with your walking stick. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Yeah, nice. with, the peg, no, with the peg leg. Yeah, <laughs> with my peg mm-hmm. leg. Oh, yeah. like a knife in it. It's like an unsheathed. Oh. oh, I like that. Oh, Lydia, that's playing dirty. Come on, mate. I think I, I think, think that's you know some Hamilton dueling shit. This <laughs> I think I think that's my guess. I think that's my guess. <laughs> you think Lydia yeah. would be arrested? Out of all of us, I'm the most likely. Oh, uh, Harry, I just can't see it for you. I can't really? see it for you. I no. think Harry could be like arrested by immigration. You know, <laughs> they finally got me everyone they finally got me you know there was like some Turkish guy they wanted and they were like <laughs> there was a mix up and they called Rams I'm not Turkish please let me out Rams <laughs> fuck Lewis you gotta convince them I'm not Turkish no they're gonna think I'm your dad it's <laughs> not gonna I'm not having no help they will deport me as well <laughs> True, true. I mean, that could happen. I mean, I do. I get pulled for extra security checks every time I go for an Can airport. Can confirm we were at the airport. To every go to time America, I go, I get randomly checks. selected. It's happened every time I go to America. It's the dark, the, the dark eyebrows, the dark, the dark hair. That's what yeah, it is. It's, yeah. They, it's 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 fucked up. It's fucked up, man. I I feel like um oh oh I wonder what it would be. I feel like Ravs. I do feel like I'd get like called okay. by like you know. Just because you're in your Vegas outfit, like security from a casino, who's like, <laughs> yeah, he's just fucking absolutely drunk and just like grabbing chips off people and shit, <laughs> just being a belligerent gambler. I can just, I can just see that and be like, yeah, you got to come down it's and pay I'm two my grand. Vegas persona, I'm Vegas rounds right now. <laughs> your Vegas rounds. Yeah. I'd bail you out. I'd come down and pay like two grand and get you out of that hellhole. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank I you. I think yeah. more likely Ravs has like fallen down a manhole or something. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, trespass. Like, He's accidentally like trespassed. Why did get arrested for that? Well, it's trespass in a sewer. Yeah. He's... I get I a call clumsy. from the police. We got this guy here. He doesn't seem to know who he is. Uh, he's very drunk. <laughs> what are you getting arrested for, Lewis? Well, serial uh, killer. Who do you think of? Straight Usher. up serial killer. No, no, they can't with get that me. moustache the only definitely. thing they can get me for is tax evasion do you know what I mean oh like, yeah yeah some... well that was my other one if it wasn't drunk lady it was Lewis tax evasion <laughs> that was yeah, going to be my guess he finally some goes financial down financial crime yeah like embezzlement Lewis, yeah. Who, who do you think it is got a pick between Perrion and Sips as your oh. Triforce oh yeah what would they Goals. get arrested for who, you've got a phone call one of the members of Triforce has been arrested it's not you Lewis come what have they done are you going to go bail them out? Which one do you think it is? Well, Sips never goes anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and does but he's from Jersey. But he's like, he's already on, in hiding. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, yeah. there's no way they can get him. He's he's in the middle of nowhere. Where is, is that why he's there? <laughs> is that the reason? Whereas I reckon P-Flax could be like done for spying or something. You know, like... A, Espionage. Ooh. Oh, totally, because, yeah. He's been back and forth to China for a Dota tournament. Mm. You know, he's been been all over the place, and you know that's not a real job. He does look um, like a you know generic man. He blends in well. I reckon he could secretly be working for like the security services as a double or triple agent, though. That's the thing. It would be like a he'd be working for the government, but that he'd actually be secretly working for the Russians or the Chinese. But then maybe he wasn't. He was just double. Well, triple agent How that, many sounds layers? Like, that sounds like his bail would be quite high then would yeah, you would you bail him out um depends <laughs> well wow, listen, I don't want to get pulled into that shady no. world what, I don't want to get recruited well Lydia Lydia who do you who do you think I think Rav's for possession <laughs> possession <laughs> yeah possession. wait of what possession uh, of what, what have I, I th- got I think A knife? Co- I think cocaine cocaine I think cocaine no I no think- no I think it's a, an illegal weapon. A yeah. weapon? Yeah. Some like Scottish, you know, some Scottish knife. Because he knife. grew up on the mean Skin streets do. of Glasgow. He had to defend himself. So he probably has like a six inch knife like in his underpants. That's the only six inch He's thing six I have. Inch something, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big sheaf. Big sheaf. <laughs> well, you well, know, I, so- I had, a, had a little skiing do once when I had a kilt. Um, it's nice. Little shit knife. Oh, oh my God. Shit knife in your... And yeah, Pants. ski and do it. So you put it in your ankle, like your ankle goes around your your oh. boot. Oh, oh, you it's actually, actually, yeah. yeah. Is it so, actually sharp? No, it has to be blunt. They're not allowed sharp ones anymore. Some oh. like mega OG OG boys will definitely have like these sharp ones, but you're supposed to have blunted ones. You can't buy them sharp anymore. What are you supposed to do with it if it's blunt? 
I mean, you don't stab anyone with it anyway. It's just like, decorative. Oh, it's a decorative yeah. knife, Lydia. <laughs> oh, yeah. all right, okay, fair enough. It must uh, have some we... history, right? Like. Wait, no, what, what do you, why do you think I, I have to have possession of coke? What's I'm going just, on there? I'm just imagining. Deeper into that. <laughs> they call me up and you've gone on like a mad one to Lanzarote. You've like picked up some really cheap drugs. You forget that it's oh in God. your kilt pocket or whatever. <laughs> you in, get your, in, your, in your prison pocket. In your prison pocket. You get searched. They call me up. They're like, you've got to bail him out. He's trying to sneak back <laughs> cocaine. To the I'm UK. like, take him, take him, take him away. Smuggling it back as well. Take him away, boys. He's a dirty smuggler. I'd be like, I've never met that man before in my life. <laughs> <laughs> never in my life. Ignore the, the copious amounts of streams and podcasts. I, I, no, just, I do not I know this man. I think it's just Vegas Rav's giving me a bad rep here. It is. Know? It's making you it's seem just, like such a criminal wearing that such shirt. Such a dirtbag. <laughs> such a dirtbag outfit, yeah. <laughs> Right, this is, a, this is actually a thing. A Montreal bagpiper got uh-huh. a ticket from police from wearing a skin do, and uh, he fought it at court. Uh, and they 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 dropped the case and gave him his knife back. Oh. No fucking way! It's traditional. It's traditional. Like, um, traditional it, dress. Is it Sikhs carry the, their knife as well? It's one of their five. Yeah, things they, they have carry, to carry. The, the big knife, right? Yeah, and you can take a, that through. Also, an mm-hmm. armpit dagger, Ravs. Uh, I'm unaware of that one. Of Matu Cashless. Oh, How big? A skeen ockles. Don't know what that one is either. Skeen ochil. It's, a, oh, it's like another. You're covered in daggers apparently in Scotland. <laughs> just yeah. everywhere. In your it's... armpit. <laughs> just... Armpit just sounds such an awful place to keep That's it. Terrible. Well, it's a little pocket. It's a little pocket place. Yeah, and little, knives. Little secret stash. Well, oh, some shelves we... have like a a bit over one shoulder. So oh yeah, the extra fabric. Concealed, oh, yes, they do. Concealed. I was imagining it like a really short handbag. <laughs> Just like a really <laughs> short handbag with a knife in it. On what occasions like have that. you had to wear a kilt then? Oh, like weddings. I wore one for my ca- confirmation because I was raised Catholic. Oh my so god! Oh, a little, nice. A little, a little tiny one. That's well, 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 baby oh, you rabs. mean a little tiny oh, kilt? Wearing a little, little tiny baby. kilt. Cutest thing I've ever heard. Wore, wore it to my brother's wedding. Um, wore, do you like wearing a kilt? I like wearing a kilt. Yeah, it's like oddly freeing. Went true mm. Scotsman, got a little breeze. Um, tried dancing, shouldn't have done because I did a twirl and my kilt came up. Do you? Um, do you, do you what? You go one hundred percent traditional. I went traditional. Yeah. Do, were you always going traditional? Not as a child. No, war, I'm not going to ask about that. <laughs> Jesus. As an Fucking adult, hell. as an adult, I I went traditional and I was at my brother's wedding and you know I sat with my legs spread apart and one of my brother's mates was like. Just, just closing the leg motion. I was like, "Oh, yep, my balls are out." Oh, oh my God. it was nice. Oh, so no. It was like a nice, windy, like cold day. So I got a nice little breeze. I Fuck. thought that was just uh, not true. I thought that was all uh, another urban myth. Oh, if it, no, if quite it, a lot. Meant of, to. Quite a lot of people do. Is it kind of frowned upon to wear underwear with a kilt? Uh I mean, maybe by like some like hard, hard bastards. You know, like the, yeah. the really devout national lads maybe but like you can do whatever makes you comfortable i just was yeah. like it's tradition so i just did it Still oh, I like it. scottish infantry regiments used to ban soldiers from wearing anything under their kilts every Why? day a senior officer would use a mirror to look under them and anyone found wearing underpants would be sent back to take them off I think, oh my that God, guy, I think that guy just like looking at cops. That is the original yeah. upskirt. That's that the is upskirt. it. Oh my God. The Scots started it. <laughs> you dirty perverts. <laughs> well, it's like that scene in Braveheart, right? Uh, where like one of them flashes the archers and slaps his bare ass and he gets an arrow in his ass cheek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a classic yeah. scene. That's a good scene. For fuck's sake. Oh, it's a good. distraction. All right. Um, Right, should we one last question, question Lewis? One, yeah. Take, one take your pick, Lewis, of the ones you we've sent in that group. Any of the ones we've not not done yet. Um, hmm. Let's do. I mean, there's one we're woefully unqualified for, which we'll probably pass on. Let's what do. About the P question. <laughs> Sure, let's end on the P question. <laughs> Why not? Let's. Pee. We've talked about it maybe seven <laughs> times on this podcast already, Lewis. <laughs> We need your take. We need the final stamp of approval or disapproval. Is it okay to pee in the shower? <laughs> and if it's okay to pee in the shower, is it okay to poo in the shower? Oh my God, Harry. 
<laughs> and if it's okay to poo in the shower, is it okay to stomp it down the drain? Oh, waffle stomp. <laughs> yep. Where I do you where do you land? Where do you feel? Who fall? else is in the shower? Just you. Just you. <laughs> Wait, does that change it? If you does could that change someone? it? And your dad. <laughs> <laughs> if they want, I, if if they want to, you know. I feel um, like it's all the same, right? At the end of the day. Well, who's sh- is it? Is it who shower is it? Who's cleaning? It's your shower. It? It's your it's shower. shower. You're showering alone. You need to pee mid shower. Do you do you open the door and try and like arc your pee into the toilet, or do you just piss in the shower? Or do you get out and get water all over the floor while you piss? Yeah, no, and that's get back the worst the option. Yeah. That's the that worst option. That is the worst. Well, I'm I'm not peeing in the bath. No, okay. then you are. Okay, but what if it's one of those showers room? that's like in the bath? You got to step into the bath. So I, to... if I was in the bath, I'd have to get out. Yeah, okay. yeah. Wait, I wouldn't as do in the bath. you're showering, as in you have an overhead shower that goes into a bath. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's why, why I have. I have to step into the bath to shower. Yeah, me too. Why is that different from peeing in a shower? And like cubicle? a walk-in shower. Yeah. What's different about that? I guess I don't like wading in pee. But you won't be wading. It would like, go, flush away. I don't like pee good. splashing all over my feet. You could t- but oh. just wash your what you. But do you wash your feet angle, in the shower? What if you angle it towards the, the plug, the drain? Yeah, piss directly into the drain. I don't need drain. to do that. It's but a lot of piss is just urea, which is what we comes out in our sweat anyway, right? So it's all kind of the Are same. You all shower pisses. Is that what you're telling me? I mean, we do <laughs> seem like we're very for it, don't we? We are well, really pushing I, I, for it. I don't <laughs> want this to. on your agenda. Piss in the shower. <laughs> Come, Come on. on. Come Save on, the everybody. I, I'm about? not saying I haven't pissed in the shower. Um, but You've I, dabbled. I avoid it if I. I you I avoid don't, it. Okay. I don't. I don't need need to. You're not an enjoyer what of if it. You, but what if you really need to pee and you're in the shower? I, I usually pee before the shower. Okay, but so. then there's like, one I have time. a routine. Okay, I know I'm going to shower, so I... And the shower being on, like, mm-hmm. usually is, like, the, the sound makes me want to pee. Yeah, but this yeah. time you've been caught at odds, you forgot to do it, and you're in there already. Um, Are you holding? Are you holding? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, you're pissing. Yeah, he's, 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 he's a shower pissing. There we go. We, we got, got, got him. him. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. But then again, like, okay, here's a question. Okay. Do you... Poo in the sea. <laughs> no! Ooh. What the fuck? <laughs> now listen, I mean, you're on the beach. You what? Really need to poo. Completely alone. Completely okay. alone. Are you insane? Uh, are, we talking, beach. are we talking desert island or just like a beach? No, Brighton, Brighton Beach. Yeah. Brighton, Brighton Beach is beach. fucking okay. horrible. It's stony and yeah. horrible. Round no. of people. You're in Wait. your it's hot day. You're in your yeah, undies. Okay. All right. The, the, you've you've been to the you went you went to the to the loo, but it was like shut down. There was some yeah. drunk guy in there. Rats passed out there. whatever <laughs> <laughs> called the police the hell they get you arrested I just got back from Vegas everyone <laughs> and you were you were like you, it was either that or you were going to poo yourself yeah well wait what? are you pooing on the pebbles or are you pooing in the sea you're out in for the, a swim is that what you're trying to you're going for a swim to disguise it okay so and then you just but wait your question is either you would literally have to be on the beach and shit yourself <laughs> or go into the ocean. Like, that is a very dramatic scenario you're giving it, it me. Not, okay. No, okay, here's my, my question isn't, will you deliberately go to the beach to take well, a shit it, in the that's sea? That's what it sounded like. You were like, well, would you poop in the sea? Like, you made it sound like, you right, know. Well, look, we can take it back in stages from there. Okay. You know, like, okay. it's like, it looks like quite a long way to get to a toilet or you're not sure if it will be busy or gross in there. Yeah. You know? Have you have you done it before? Are you like, have you pooped in the sea? Is Do you it know bad to poop like? in the sea? Is there like, I mean, all I the sewage like kind of ends up there anyway, right? If I, fish and shit, they're all shitting in the sea and they don't care. Why? It's just, it's why just do like they another, get to do it and we yeah, don't? Yeah, why do they get to do it and we don't? <laughs> it's inequality. It is inequality. Well, it's I'm fucking, thinking. it's mammal inequality. We get to poop in the sea. <laughs> if, I, it's, I, if I want to poop in the sea, Lewis, I'll poop in the sea <laughs> and I'll be proud about it. Okay. So yes, then. yes. Okay, you're a sea I'm pooper. The I'm ed- a sea pooper. <laughs> if, I, if I'm at the edge of a pier, shitting into the sea, <laughs> that's different. No, no, okay, that's but different. Wait, but wait, that's not the same. But if I'm out swimming, uh huh. Hey, the shit isn't the like, the motion of shitting right. You push it out, but then uh-huh. like your your butthole must get back in. Am I sucking seawater into my ass a little you're bit? You're giving yourself a little enema, a little Is free enema. Am I getting yeah. like seawater in there? Because that's fucked. That's going to clean it right it's, out. I think it's good yeah. for you. I don't know. Very antiseptic. I don't know. I don't think your butt sucks up. Well, <laughs> but I don't know. But the, the, Who? A whole... It's a common cool exchange, Lewis. I'm an, Listen, Raz, when you I'm take a shit in normally, the ocean. the air doesn't go in there and replace <laughs> you, it. And then you, you have go. to... No, 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 no. What I'm saying... No, 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 but my, my butthole will be open. 
Okay, at some point, is water not going to go in? Well, no, but your butthole doesn't <laughs> open. It's not like a door. <laughs> it doesn't, ju- it doesn't no. just widen it's and like then one of those, um, out those, and then closes. Those squeezy bag icing things where it squeezes it out. <laughs> it wraps around it. There is only out. The, it out if I'm yes. in the water, there's only out. There's it's no, only out. no, no it's water an outflow. Nice Why are you worried about the Why water going into your butt? I don't see water in my ass. Am I fucking shit. crazy for that? I don't think that's even that bad. Yeah. I think that's chill. That's that should be the, the least of your worries. I feel like that's the best bit of the experience, <laughs> to Gwyneth be honest. Gwyneth Paltrow is probably charging loads for that. Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe. I don't know. I, I just I don't know if that's an enjoyable experience for me. Well, I feel like poo... But you're like not willing pe- to try. You're not going to do it? Me, maybe if I'm, like, near the shore... <laughs> Are you guys doing it swimming or are you doing it standing? Because I think doing it swimming causes me anxiety of me then bumping the poo. Well, you know, know that thing. I feel like it's hard to like <laughs> doggy paddle <laughs> away from the. No, I would just try- float on my back and then shit directly <laughs> no, down. No, because then it just rises up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wor- that is the worst way to do no, it. <laughs> how many of them are floating? Like, what are we, what are we talking about? I'm, I have a good diet. What? I don't tend to have a lot of floaters. So you're just on. lying on your back and it's just dropping straight to the bottom of the floor. Yeah. It's like the heaviest mass known to man just rocketing to the ocean yeah, yeah, yeah. floor. And then the crabs get a special dinner, you know. Um, just, uh, oh my God. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't want them anywhere near my shit. <laughs> I mean, and your open butthole. I mean, yeah. I feel like it's okay. I mean, people pee in the ocean. It's not really a big deal, right? Is it bad to pee in the ocean? I don't know. I, I don't I, think I, so. I probably I, I, would I in a desperate good, situation. Probably. It's probably good for the ocean. I think yeah. the ocean likes it. Let's put more piss in the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> sort out its Already so much sewage around our poor no, little peeing island. At, peeing in water where there is, like, you know that the, this terrifying urethra fish? Oh, yeah. I think, oh. It's like a, I think it's like a river fish. I don't know if it's an yeah, ocean Yeah, it's in the fish. Amazon, I think. They jump up your pee but hole. I'm too scared now. I don't want. I don't want any 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 fishies near me. You just get a massive pee. trout trying to climb up your <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> This <laughs> trout's sucking me off. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> it thinks Ravs. it's a river. <laughs> it's sprawling. Ravs, you're scared of the ocean anyway. I uh, so, well, no, I don't. I hate. I do hate deep open water. Just Japanese You literally wouldn't go in, like the, You wouldn't go to the beach because you hated the ocean. No, I hate sand, Harry. <laughs> you told me you hated deep I water. I hate deep open water, but I also hate sand. Okay. You know? Like I was wearing nice shoes. I didn't want to fucking get sand in them. For fuck's sake. I thought oh, you just it's... hated the ocean full stop. No, like uh, shallow water is fine and like okay. being on the beach and stuff, that's lovely. Yeah. Like, I think the sea know. is just a a nice um opportunity mm-hmm. for a poo? Drop for recreational, safe, a safe, <laughs> natural in nature. <laughs> just give it a go. Just give I it know. a go. Come on, just I'm try it. I'm scared to pee or poo in the ocean now. I, 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 you've heard you made it worse for me. I think it will be fine. Don't, don't worry about I don't, it. I don't remember doing it, but I feel, I feel like maybe the act of swimming, like, stop or water, stops you from. I don't remember. I, I think it's hard to pull it off. I have pooed underwater, but I feel like. There must have been a time. It must be well, possible. We it's probably been done all the time. Harry, well, do you remember we asked if you fart in the tub? <laughs> uh, what was the fart in the tub question? Oh. If you fart in the tub, does the gas get... How does it work or something like that? Something, like, does it smell... Like, does does it, it can, you smell, can you smell your fart underwater? Oh, yeah. That was it. Does the fart smell underwater? And I think they must, right? Um, Yes. <laughs> right. On anyway, that note, shall on that we, note, it's time like to wrap it up <laughs> and uh, get the fuck out of here. Just <laughs> Lewis, thank you so much for joining us for this Christmassy, pooey related that was the Christmas podcast. Episode, that was Christmas. This is Christmas. Christmas. That's our Christmas that Day Christmas. episode. <laughs> This is a golden podcast, you guys. It's a golden <laughs> podcast. This is the greatest podcast you've ever been on. Thank you very much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Yeah. And thank you to everyone who's been sending in their questions. Thank you to all of our lovely patrons. Thank you to all yep. our lovely listeners. Keep sending in your questions and your silly stories. We want to hear them. Um, Lewis, any last words? Any last thoughts? Any, any last ideas? Um, be safe out there. Be safe stay out warm. there. Be safe, stay warm. Happy, Happy holidays. Christmas. Happy Christmas. See you guys, See you guys soon. later. Bye. Bye. Bye.